libertarian ideology. The, the, this, you know, the, the Libertarian Party was created in the 1950s by a, uh, by a group called FEE, F-E-E, -E, and it was, uh, it was a front for a real estate lobbying group and a foundation for education, something or other. And they came up with this party to give a political justification to deregulating the banking industry and the real estate industry so that real estate people uh, wouldn't have to worry about pesky regulations like redlining, wouldn't have to worry about pesky regulations about who you can loan to and who you can't, wouldn't have to worry about pesky regulations about who you can sell your house to and who you can't, all that kind of stuff. And keep in mind, back in the 50s and 60s, uh, there weren't that many laws at that point in time, you know, controlling a lot of this. But they, you know, but it, it was adopted, it was a real estate lobby that started it. But it was rapidly adopted by the, basically the entire American business community as this, you know, great idea. Yeah, you know, government should only do a couple of things. The only legitimate purpose for a government is to run the army and protect the borders of the country run the police and stop crime and run the courts so that you can put people in jail and you can hold businesses accountable when they behave badly. But you can't hold them accountable if there's no rules, so, but we don't want those rules. We don't want those stinking regulations. And I have been asking libertarians on this program for uh, the 18 years I've been doing this show, please name one country where libertarian ideology actually has worked. And they can't. There is no such place. Now, if there was such a place, you would know the name of it right now. Honest to God, you would know. Because if I say to you, for example, uh, please name one country or even one region where democratic socialism has worked, you would immediately say Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Scandinavia. Or even, you know, Germany, France, you know, Northern Europe. So we all know that, you know, democratic socialism works, regulated, heavily regulated capitalism with high taxes works. So what about this libertarian ideology? It doesn't work, and it doesn't work anywhere. I was in Uganda uh, the year after, at the tail end of the Civil War, when Idi Amin fled the country. It wasn't even a civil war, actually. They had been invaded by the Tanz Tanzanians from the south. And it was, I, when I was in Kampala and in Bali and, and a whole bunch of places, we, we traveled all over Uganda. Um, it was uh, under the control of Tanzanian soldiers. Most of them were like 15 years old. And it was a mess. I mean, we were there feeding starving people. Then there were literally thousands and thousands of people who were starving. Because all their government was doing at that point in time, all the Ugandan government was doing was running the army and the police. That was it. And, I mean, this is this is... You know, kind of a well-established thing, and, and, and I think that the, the, the point that is so important about this is that this has been embraced by the Republican Party ever since the, well, since the 70s, and, uh, and officially embraced and put into policy by the Republican Party since the Reagan Revolution in 1981. The whole, you know, the, this whole, oh, you know, we don't need a welfare state and we don't need a social safety net and we need to privatize social security. These are official Republican positions, right? We need to privatize social security, hand it off to the billionaires. We need to privatize Medicare and Medicaid, hand it off to the big insurance companies. We need to stop regulating fossil fuel companies and, and, and coal, coal mines and, and uh, you know, refineries and things. And just, you know, let, them, let the free market deal with all this stuff. And the bottom line is that, you know, libertarian ideology not only does not work, but it destroys nations. And it is, it has, for the large part, I mean, it's brought us these predictable results. Historically low taxes on corporations and billionaires, an impoverished middle class, a devastated labor unions, the highest rate of child poverty and maternal death in the developed world, millions without access to health care, one in seven children going to bed hungry, our schools, our roads, our bridges and rail systems in shambles. And now these libertarians in Texas want to say, you know, and by the way, you don't like our libertarian policies? We don't have to count your votes. We don't even have to let you vote.